Well, it is spring, and so we probably need a little help in the garden. Siobhan is here. It is a Creative Living Thursday, and we're doing some spring gardening hacks this morning. Good yes. to see you. Thank you. Okay, Thank you. I, I intend to get into the garden this weekend. I know I'm a little bit behind, but you it's know okay. What? It's okay. Yeah. It's kind of had unusual weather anyway, like some of the yeah. cool temperatures and stuff, but um, I'm not a huge gardener, but I have done several things, and these are some of the hacks that I kind of was checking out and seeing what could be something okay. fun to do. So first off, I don't know about you, but I am so bad. I will get one tool and I'll go where I'm yes. working and then I run back and yeah. I get, I'm exhausted by the yep. time I even get anything in the ground. Just get a regular bucket. You can find it at a thrift store or buy yourself a new one at a dollar store. Just okay. get a regular bucket because the plastic you can literally spray down. Oh, get it you know, to carry I mean, all my stuff. I mean, if you use like one of the old okay. timey baskets, it will get wet and yeah. it's not going to do well. So anyway, put all your tools together. Okay, small ones. Um, I always keep a big kitchen spoon and people go, why? And I go, because. you can dig. Yes. And, and also pick yeah. and get in the potting soil okay. out if you don't need mm -hmm. a whole lot. So anyway, uh, gloves, the whole nine yards, you put it all together. Here's one that you probably don't think of. Keep your sunscreen mm -hmm. in your tool uh, for your gardening because it's a necessity. Okay. The other thing that's worth investing in is the knee because uh, <clears throat> as people that are a lot younger, yes, it hurts the knees. Okay, it's tough. so yes, and then keep your hat in it. Okay, because these are all little things that you're running around trying to do. So that's that's what I'm saying about your bucket. And bucket then of plastic, goods. Yes. Okay, you can sounds do that. good. Okay, uh, potting soil. Mm -hmm. Always keep a small bag. And people are like, why? I've already potted everything. I don't need it. I said, well, when you water plants sometimes, you know, the soil yes. starts eroding and then you're like, oh, I got to go get some more. Just keep an extra one. It's not going to okay. go bad. It'll be fine through the whole season. Okay. Um, I thought this was awesome um, because you can get wild watering, you know, you're spraying and okay. So, and sometimes you're a little strong on some of the tender plants. Oh, smart. Just use yourself a funnel. It can Cute. be anywhere. Yep. There's some pretty ones that are designed for plants to look pretty. But this is how you can water the soil without mm -hmm. ruining or hurting the plants with the strong water pressure. So okay. that's another one I would do. I like it. Um, okay, seeds. If you are a person that goes for seeding first, um, it's always hard because, of course, they're very tender, very small. You can use an ice tray. You Good put a little idea. in the potting soil okay. and then you can put your seeds in okay. there. That will help give them about a week or so to really kind of get. The other one, of course, I even think is better yes. than an ice tray is keep one of your egg cartons because that one I think is a little bit better. But same thing, you can put your um, soil in here and add your seeds. And if you want to save a little money, it's a little bit cheaper mm -hmm. than trying to do that. It just takes a little more time. So that one, okay. So that's what I would do with seeds. Okay. And a couple weeks, that way they are rooting and then you can transplant them wherever you want them. Okay. Epsom salt. Yeah, I know. You thought it was for us to soak around in right? and get more comfortable and our aches and pains. If you will add Epsom salt to um, actually into your transplanted, so if you're transplanting plants, uh -huh. put some Epsom salt down in the hole. Uh -huh. The uh, chemical in here definitely helps them root and grab the moisture in there because Good Epsom salt. So there okay. you go. We'll keep it here because we've got some more creative living tips coming your way in just a bit. Well, we are continuing uh, helping our garden grow a little yes. bit this morning. Siobhan Springy is joining time. us. Yeah, with some easy yeah. tips when it comes to, you know, helping things grow. Yeah, little things. Little simple, things. Simple, nothing big, not too expensive. Yeah. Um, first off, weeds. I don't know about you, but I, we, I fight it out every, mm -hmm. every week. Yep. I need to get rid of those weeds. They're driving me crazy. Um, this is one that people have heard probably, but I kind of added to it. Um, your beds or when you're in your beds. Uh-huh. Put, of course, the newspaper down. Okay. And then put a little more soil on top. And then add your mulch. Okay. okay. That helps to kind of put a barrier so that you don't have the yeah. weeds coming up. The Makes other sense. thing, of course, is if you don't do newspaper, which who hardly even has newspaper I know. Hard to find. anymore. Yeah. Um, if you don't, you cardboard. can also use cardboard. Okay. Okay. So even if you keep some of your boxes. And then I thought about this the other day. I thought, you know what? What do you do with those pizza boxes? I mean, you recycle, of course, but if you don't, keep a couple of them because you can cut them up and use them in the garden. Oh, smart. Okay. okay. So it's not something, if you'll just kind of think about things, you can kind of keep them around. So. Okay. All right. Jute. Keep a roll of jute with you. Mm -hmm. So if you have plants that are beginning to get heavy or something and you need to tie them up, I know you can use wire, but that cuts the plant a little bit. Um, and there are some other things you can buy at the actual okay. gardening stores. But jute is very gentle, plus it's also a natural. It, and it looks like the color of plants. And it looks plants. pretty, yeah. yes. Okay. okay. Uh, the other one, okay, for weeds, vinegar. 
if you will put vinegar uh, with a little water in a spray bottle and spray it directly on the leaves of the weeds, it will kill the weeds. Really? Yes. Okay. And then, uh, if you want, it's up to you, but I also think if you'll spray your pathways, you know how they kind of come in your, oh, in, yeah. the, in the seams of With things, vinegar? Spray it with vinegar, okay. and that will help keep and them that's from okay coming for the pets, up. Too. Yes, well, yeah. absolutely, because okay. it's all natural and eco-friendly and all mm -hmm. that. So, um, the other one, this is kind of unusual: tea bags. Okay, so if you're a tea drinker, you've got this figured out. If not, go buy a box of just regular tea bags, um, and if you'll just get them wet, if you will plant these near your plant, uh -huh. okay, the nutrients from the tea is almost a natural fertilizer. Interesting, isn't that interesting? Okay, did not know and that. And of course, tea is one of those that people say there's so many different great qualities to drinking tea for your okay. body and stuff, but they're full of nutrients, and so that helps add hmm. to the plants as far as uh, that goes. All right, next one. Hydrogen peroxide, okay? Um, it is full of oxygen molecules. And um, if you spray them on the plants, like if your plant's looking kind of droopy, yeah. doesn't quite look like it's, it's watered it, but it's still not at its fullest. If you will spray a little hydrogen peroxide on Ooh, the that's actual a good leaves, tip. Okay. it kind of gets the, the molecules kind of help with oxygen feeding into it. So then it becomes a little bit more of a dramatic looking plant instead of the good to know. One, so. I think a lot of plants at home can yep. have okay. that. Okay, coffee grounds. Mm -hmm. um, coffee grounds also. Uh, it, composting. A lot yeah. of people do the composting thing. But even if you will sprinkle some coffee grounds on your beds or mix it into your soil, it also has some nutrients in it. Okay, well, I know what everyone's going to be doing when you get home today. You're Save your be tea bags and your of coffee this. grounds yes, and absolutely. your pizza boxes. Good tip. <laughs> Welcome back to San Antonio Living. We are getting creative in the garden. Siobhan has been sharing some hacks to make things grow, yep. to get rid of the weeds, just to make everything a little bit easier for us, right? Yes. Okay. okay. So in your deep pots, okay? Yes. Um, you know, normally we put rocks or, mm -hmm. you know. Okay, so I thought this was kind of interesting. Um, again, recycling a little bit. Take your cans. Oh, for sure. And put your can, two or three of them, yeah. in the bottom. It is not a solid thing, so the water can still go through the cans. Yeah. And then you put your soil on top, and then you put, of course, your plants. Yeah. But I thought, isn't that an interesting way to yes. use your, if you're not going to have to take them to recycling, but keep a few of them. You never know when you're going to use them, and that way it helps with the deep pots. So Super smart. Kind of builds yep. it up, too. I like it. Okay, if you are a person that likes to do cuttings off of larger plants and you're trying to grow some others, I thought this was interesting. Never tried it, but you know what? You guys can definitely tell me. You dip your cutting mm -hmm. in honey. Oh before okay. you put it in the soil. Okay. And the sugar and everything in here helps to have it I can see that. Faster. Yeah. Okay. And so it roots quicker and grabs faster. So I was like, that that was a pretty Makes sense. pretty good one. Okay, cinnamon. I was like cinnamon. I love to eat my cinnamon, but um, for bugs, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. So if you will sprinkle this around the edges of your beds, um, it's ants also. The, the ants do not like going through cinnamon. Um, the other thing is, is if you happen to have like in, in windows or if you have doorways that you have a tendency to see ants always trying to get uh -huh. through, cinnamon? sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon in your window seal on the outside, wherever they're not supposed to come in. And they don't, I guess it's the Good smell, maybe it's the taste. I love the smell and I love the taste, right? but I guess they don't. So there you go on that one. Um, okay, the other one, vinegar. I love my vinegar. You can use it for anything and everything. Soak cotton balls in vinegar mm -hmm. and lay them around the bed also yeah. because, of course, it is almost a natural pesticide. Okay. And then you can also spray uh, some of the vinegar on the, on, on the soil or the mulch because of smell, but also it keeps those, the, uh, the uh, pesticides going so you don't have to worry too much about that. Okay. Another one is, it is baking, baking soda. soda. Yeah. Baking soda and water, mix it together in a spray bottle, but let it sit overnight. Don't use it right away because it needs to really uh, emulsify, get together. And then you can spray those directly on the plants. Okay. And it will also help with pesticides, insecticide, Try to get things. rid of all the aphids and all that stuff. So. Okay, guys. It's well, a good you, thing. You have no excuse to not be in the garden this weekend because we gave you a bunch of good information. I right? agree completely. <laughs> okay, good deal. All right, if you've got questions, you can find us on social media. We are at I Love SA Living. And, of course, you can find the segments online, saliving.com.